Lessons that I've learned from working with Eastern Bide Bandicoots is um, persistence, I think. When you're working with threatened species, you've got to be in it for the long haul. You, know, you can't recover a species within a couple of years. Yeah, it took decades to reclassify Eastern Bide Bandicoots from extinct in the wild to endangered. And throughout that time, there was a lot of reintroduction failures, yeah, and you've got to learn from those failures to be able to succeed um, in other ways. So, you know, not trying the same things over and over again, thinking outside the box, trying different things, uh, and just persistence and being motivated to really make a difference for threatened species. So I really enjoy working with Travis here at Woodlands on the Eastern Bide Bandicoot project. Um, I don't come out very often, but I come out and help Travis with the monitoring. So that's twice a year in spring and autumn. We monitor bandicoots with a whole team of volunteers and Travis just makes it fun. He is so engaging, volunteers love him. He's got so many stories that keep everybody engaged and everyone just always has a great time. So if anybody's interested in getting more involved with threatened species, there is lots that, that you can do. Um, you could log on to the Conservation Volunteers website and sign up for Bandicoot monitoring here at Woodlands Historic Park and meet me and Travis. Or you can just check out more information. You know, Conservation Volunteers and Zoos Victoria have a whole host of information on our website about threatened species and what people can do and actions that people can take.